Monday morning, millions of us will gaze at the sky to watch the total solar eclipse. Tonight, CBS 2's Amy Johnson has a look at what local schools are doing for that eclipse and whether they're prepared with the special glasses that are needed to safely see the show. Well, we're tracking the sun. Is that sun moving? No. Mrs. Williams' third grade class is learning about the upcoming solar eclipse. We're tracking the sun and we're seeing if our shadow will move. They're learning about the sun's rays with the help of chalk on the blacktop and how on Monday, after 99 years, the moon will pass between the sun and the earth and its shadow will race across the country. But today, it's all about their shadows. I'm trying to learn how shadows are created. All of the students at Lomita Math and Science Magnet School are learning about the spectacular event. There's going to be an eclipse, there, and that's when the moon covers the sun. We're in the partial eclipse area, so we won't see it completely. Mr. Stencil's fifth grade class is also getting ready for the big day. I predict that the sun will be darker. This is just one of the many LAUSD schools taking part in viewing the solar eclipse. All of our school is going to go out and watch the uh, eclipse, but in doing so, we're going to set up a viewing station. We're going to have the eclipse, solar eclipse glasses mm -hmm. that are safety glasses. They'll also use a solar telescope and chart the changes, but they all know what they can't do on Monday. We still can't look at the sun because if we do, we might like get our eyes blind or something. And that advice goes to anyone who doesn't have the special glasses and not all of LAUSD schools and principals chose to purchase them, but all of the students will be able to take part in the eclipse on Monday because they're streaming it live on their website. Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.